Yo, good peoples, and welcome back to the show, man. So on today's episode, we're going to be talking about fresh fragrances that you can carry over into the fall and into the winter. For us, this time of year, October going into November, we throw those, not throw away, but we box those freshy scents up and we break out the hard stuff. But for the most part, if you're a fresh fragrance lover like me at heart, then you will want to keep these in all year round. All right, stay tuned. The Fragrance Show. on my channel again i just want to say man we hit that 8k mark on the channel guys we shooting for 10k to close out 2023 so y'all know me i i say the same thing all the time i'm just grinding man shouts out to all my new followers man shouts out to all my returning followers my day ones shouts out to everybody that's continue just to show support on the fragrance show man also shouts out to my other content creators as well i see everybody is working so if you're like me I came into this fragrance game liking fresh fragrances, blue fragrances, stuff like that. So, you know, I tried to keep some out in the fall and winter time. And for the most part, these ones has held me down in cooler weather. Now, some people, they box the freshies up and you won't see those things till probably uh, <laughs> springtime, summer sometime. But nope, we rocking with these all year. So first one up on the list and it's probably is the strongest out of, I say I got about five up here with me. And it is F9 Supremacy, not only intense, this one right here. Super, super top tier Creed Aventus clone. The performance on this is 10 to 11 hours. The only thing this one doesn't have is lemon. I believe they have app on this one up top, but when you spray this one, man, top tier Creed Aventus clone. And I said I was gonna buy another bottle of it, but I have so much of the Creed DNA um, that I just never haven't gotten around to it yet, but I might guys, but nevertheless, F9 Supremacy, not only intense. Number two up on the list, um, the scent DNA I have been familiar with for a long time. I had a bottle of the OG, but when I heard about the clone, I said, man, I gotta come check this clone out, guys. And it's called Toro Por Home. Toro Por Home, this one right here from the house of Mason Alhambra. And I have made a nice dent in this juice. If you don't know what this is cloning, guys, this is cloning Tear Dear Hermes, the EDT concentration. Really, really top tier citrus fragrance on the market. I mean, the opening is crazy. Some people say, well, for the younger crowd, it might not be for the younger crowd, like like 21 and, and like under or whatever like that. But man, I would say 25 and up, mature brothers out there, man, you gotta have that Hermes DNA in your collection. And I mean, the opening, is just amazing now the clone has good performance as well really you could probably get about six to seven hours on this on skin and clothes and projection is definitely good for the first hour and a half and with this kind of scent dna this one definitely pushes through cooler weather guys and i have no problem with it at all so that is toro poro home from Mason Alhambra. If they're watching this video, shouts out to you, man. Don't forget to hit that like button, that share button, and also subscribe to the channel, man. We, we just working, we got plenty of more work coming on the way. Now, next one up on the list, guys, is a fragrance that's cloning that parfum Darmali Segli DNA, and it is called Posh Serious from Fragrance World, guys. Now, I was using a fragrance from Mason Alhambra called Legacy. No, well, it's from Latafa, Mason Alhambra, Latafa, the same thing. But this one, I'm gonna say Latafa on a bottle and it's called My Hair Legacy. That is also a nice part from the Miley Segli clone. But I think with this one, in my opinion, it is stronger than that because the mint note that goes along with that parfum that Molly Segni Leonay is really, really prominent in this one. I think you could definitely, definitely 
no doubt about it, push that DNA into cooler weather, into the fall and into the winter. And if you're definitely going inside an office or anywhere like that, you could definitely push the Parfum Darmali Segli to the limits. And if you're looking for an excellent clone for it, check out that Posh Series. Look, I have made a nice dent in this one for sure. I use the Freshies all year round, man. To me, a signature scent for me is definitely going to be more on the fresh side because that's what I came into the game loving until, you know, I brought it my horizons on fragrances. You know, I was just a fresh guy all year round, no doubt about it. On the list, guys, we're going to go on the designer side and I have with me a fragrance called Ralph Club Elixir. Ralph Club Elixir. Fairly kind of new up on the market. I think it came out this year. Excellent flanker. And this stuff is strong. Now, this stuff <laughs> is still a fresh fragrance in my opinion. You know what I mean? But man, you want to talk about some strong stuff. And it's not cheap. It's on the designer side. I think this bottle right here will run you probably like maybe like 140 or 145. But guys, it is worth the money. It's gonna stick around. Uh easy maybe seven to eight hours skin on clothes and projection is good for that first hour and a half starts to dial a little bit back after that but man the ralph club elixir excellent fragrance i think ralph club the other two in the line you know they did fairly well too i think that might have i ain't gonna say it saved the polo line but definitely was a nice spin-off from the regular you know polo cologne so shouts out to the Ralph Club line. I had the other two. I think, I, yeah, I definitely sold them, but I'm holding on to my elixir because this is excellent stuff, guys, for sure. Now, last one up on the list. Some people call it a the generic smelling kind of fragrance, and that's cool, but in my opinion, the scent DNA just works, and you can rock it all year round, and you can rock it anywhere at any time. It's going to get you compliments, definitely kind of on like the basic side but it doesn't make it a bad scent at all and to me uh you got to have some form of it in your collection for sure if you're not if you're worried about uh how other people are going to smell you or if you're worried about smelling bad you have no reasons to worry when you rock this fragrance right here now this version of it is from al hermain and it's called l of Inter Night. This one right here and it is cloning that green irish tweed from the house of creed you know what i'm saying some people call it basic i just say it just works man it just works huge compliment getter i actually like this one this is probably my best clone for it that i got in my collection because this one has i would say outperforms my other ones for sure and i think i did get this bottle off of ebay guys off of ebay so if you're looking for this one i think ebay might have this one roughly around that 29 dollar mark but if you can find it cheaper go ahead and be my guest but you gotta have some creed green iris tweed scent dna in your collection or if you even have the og bottle uh you know kudos to you but i don't have the og bottle and never owned it but Definitely got some stellar clones up in the collection. So, L events are night from the house of our May. Okay? So guys, that was five fresh scents. You could definitely push into the fall and into the winter. If you're a fresh fragrance guy like me at heart, then you're definitely gonna wanna check those out. And if you got those in your collection, more power to you, all right? Thanks for watching another video with your boy. If you need more content, click on that video header up above. If you wanna like and subscribe to the channel, you can go and do that as well. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace, salute. On the list, guys, we're gonna go on the designer side. And I have with me a fragrance called Ralph Club Elixir. Ralph Club Elixir. Fairly kind of new up on the market. I think it came out this year excellent flanker and this stuff is strong now this stuff <laughs> is still a fresh fragrance in my opinion you know what i mean but man you want to talk about some strong stuff and it's not cheap it's on the designer side i think this bottle right here will run you probably like 
maybe like 140 or 145 but guys it is worth the money it's gonna stick around uh easy maybe seven to eight hours skin on clothes and projection is good for that first hour and a half starts to dial a little bit back after that but man the ralph club elixir excellent fragrance i think ralph club the other two in the line you know they did fairly well too i think that might have I ain't gonna say it saved the polo line, but definitely was a nice spinoff from the regular, you know, polo cologne. So, shouts out to the Ralph Club line. I had the other two. I think, I, yeah, I definitely sold them, but I'm holding on to my elixir because this is excellent stuff, guys, for sure. Now, last one up on the list. Some people call it a, a generic smelling kind of fragrance, and that's cool, but in my opinion, the scent DNA just works, and you can rock it all year round, and you can rock it anywhere at any time. It's going to get you compliments. It's definitely kind of on like the basic side, but it doesn't make it a bad scent at all. And to me, uh, you gotta have some form of it in your collection for sure if you're not if you are worried about uh, how other people are going to smell you or if you're worried about smelling bad you have no reasons to worry when you rock this fragrance right here now this version of it is from Al Hermain and it's called El Aventar Night this one right here and it is cloning that green Irish tweed from the House of Creed you know what I'm saying some people call it basic I just say it just works man it just works huge compliment getter i actually like this one this is probably my best clone for it that i got in my collection because this one has i would say outperforms my other ones for sure and i think i did get this bottle off of ebay guys off of ebay so if you're looking for this one I think eBay might have this one roughly around that $29 mark. But if you can find it cheaper, go ahead and be my guest. But you got to have some Creed Green Irish Tweed scent DNA in your collection. Or if you even have the OG bottle, uh, you know, kudos to you. But I don't have the OG bottle and never owned it. But definitely got some stellar clones up in the collection. So L Events or Night from the House of Out or Main. Okay. So guys, that was five fresh scents. You could definitely push into the fall and into the winter. If you're a fresh fragrance guy like me at heart, then you're definitely gonna wanna check those out. And if you got those in your collection, more power to you, all right? Thanks for watching another video with your boy. If you need more content, click on that video header up above. You wanna like and subscribe to the channel, you can go and do that as well. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace, salute.